is not an easy place to grow up in, but alas, grow up we must. One of your children has matured into a young adult and is ready to becoming an adult is an important rite of passage. The whole As you look around and admire the world, you see something of interest. You spot some smoke, as if coming from a chimney somewhere up ahead. Perhaps there is a small settlement nearby. A figure clad in a ragged duck. You approach the wanderer, mimicking his sign of peace. You speak up. This is a dangerous road to be roaming on your own, sir. Are you right? There is no reply from the figure, and so your men make another attempt. As they get closer, the elf steps back and waves at them to stay away. Response and bows slightly to say thank you. He starts moving again, but you see that his pace is very slow. The elf seems uneasy when you approach with the supplies. But when you place the small bag before him, he musters up a smile and bows once more in thanks. He takes the bag and closes his eyes, making a hand gesture towards the skies, the earth, then the ground. You recognize this as the symbol of the cosmic tree. The figure moves away from the party, his step clearly made lighter by the kindness of your men, and some of you feel a strange energy run through your veins.
A figure of a woman crossing the village square was seen just before sundown, but no one knows who she was. She wore dead flowers on her head, and her face was... The strange, wraith-like creature appears again this night and lays her sorrowful kiss upon many sleeping lips. In the morning, many of your people rise with a heavy heart and a darkened soul, filled with melancholy. You realize too late that this was likely a Tesknika, a longing demon who seeks to share her sadness and despair with the living. Some of your people are likely never to recover from their state. And yet, upon the demon's departure, you feel a deeper understanding of the demon world. The map leads you to the ruins of some old town. There are very few houses still visible, let alone standing, but there is one. It is clearly touched by the darkness. Its wooden beams are decayed. It, the doors seem stuck at first, but with just a slight push, they give way. However, you feel a pinch on your hand. The stale air hits you in the face as you enter. There is a small hallway, unusual for the simple abodes you are used to, and at the end of the hall, another room and stairs leading down to the basement. You enter the room and find yourself in a perfectly preserved dining room. The decor is lavish, unlike anything you've ever seen. There are chandeliers, or so you think they're called. There is silverware, silver used for cutlery. There are crystal glasses, and even a faint sound of music coming from Perrin knows where. Suddenly, you hear a cry of a woman. No, don't touch anything. You'll spoil it, you'll spoil it all. It has to be perfect, has to. A creature appears to you, at first with the features of a noble lady dressed in a beautiful gown, but then as she faces you, you realize her face is rotting away. In an instant, the illusion breaks, and you see the old house again, empty, decaying and cold, and before you, a ghost about to attack. defeated the ghost. It is likely that the tormented spirit will return, but for now it has been banished. You search the old house and discover many books that will surely prove priceless for your village. You all...
don't always have a chance to... You find the skeletal remains of a person. And so the cosmic tree stood in flames, and with it, the world burned alike. For as the canopy burned, so did the skies turn red, and the heavens were no more. As the core burned, the earth scorched, fields turned to ash, and Thea became a wasteland. Finally, as the roots burned, so did the gates to the underworld, and thus the souls of the dead could find no refuge, no peace, no pun is written in a beautiful style, impeccable, neat, and very distinct. It reads, And so our duty failed. Did we fail our charges? Did we abandon them too soon? Or were we never supposed to do so in the first place? Should we have guarded the sacred pillars more vigorously? I must go to the evergreen grove and find answers. Signed, Alicia Silveroak, scholar of the Age of Thunderer, keeper of the knowledge, last of the sacred guardians. There is an old move marked upon it. You stumble across some ruins. You open one of them. You search the buildings and discover a supplies store still intact. You arrive at a tall stone built. You walk into the lower floors of the tower. The room is dark and dingy. Ah, the Elven Scroll. Have you found the Guardian yet? He went to that grove place, but I've never been able to find out what happened to him. His pesky student ran off with the scroll before I could... And I don't like leaving this tower anyway. Hmm, right. 
Well, he is a wise one. I will grant him that. But his version of history is... Hmm, history is written by the victors, yes? The victors for many thousands of years, and thus they do write our history. I, however, believe it is time we wrote our own. Well, the elves will tell you that the cosmic tree is one of the pillars of the world. I won't go into it. They know it better. They are correct on that, but sometimes pillars must fall in order to build a new house, you know. Right, right. I am an old man, too old for human existence. I forget myself. So it was that burned that damned tree. Yes, we at the Grand University. We had a multinational conference and we came to a conclusion. Magic is stifling humanity. Listen to me. Magic and its prime stewards, the elves, they are keeping us from truly evolving, from reaching our own potential. We can finally be free from superstition, from dark magic, from monsters. We will build a civilization based on reason and knowledge. And yes, this will be costly. Magic will take with it many creatures, not all bad, but humanity will finally be free. Oh, that one. I suppose there is no reasoning with Vn. After all, he is part Elven himself. I suppose it is back to the Dark Ages and the whip of the Elder People upon our backs. Now go, leave me be. You find yourself standing in an empty field. No tower, no man. You come across a hidden stash, and it looks like whatever is inside. You have your loot safe in hand, but you can hear something approaching fast, perhaps a guardian of the stash. You have time to run, but maybe the creature hides more goodies. Before you is a group of black wolves attacking something. As you look closer, you realize there are two packs, one attacking a small baby, and one fighting not far with something else.
You now realize that there was some black cat fighting another group of wolves nearby. You have beaten those wolves too, but the cat is dead. Still, the child is saved. to heal and Becoming an adult is an important... 